yeah it, it is definitely more common um as and as you rightly said it's across age groups across genders it's no longer exclusive uh, for men yes ah. also i have my own beliefs about uh, alcohol but my biggest grouse with alcohol is its effect on sleep mm-hmm. also i think there was a recent study uh, which i think i may have spoken about on instagram where they there was a belief even amongst doctors that a moderate amount of alcohol is good for your heart yes i think this came out of resveratrol no. ah, red, red wine, wine. Mm. and resveratrol and the antioxidant properties i think it's very clear now that the resveratrol resveratrol story is buried dead and buried i don't think anyone doubts that any longer maybe a few people who still have a stake in the resveratrol companies <laughs> i i always say that the same resveratrol is in eggplant and brinjal as well <laughs> <laughs> yes so you're saying that uh, alcohol disturbs sleep big time yes so if you were to i know people who track their sleep very closely with very good tracking devices and when you track your sleep um, just after one glass of beer or a glass of wine you will see a difference in the quality of your sleep immediately so i do and even there are some beliefs that if you have alcohol at lunch time it will not affect your sleep but if you have it closer to dinner time then it may affect your sleep so have it at lunch time instead of having it at dinner time fine that also will affect your sleep so if you are careful enough if you really are a nerd who wants to know what alcohol is doing to you get a bio tracker like one of the good bio trackers and see what the effect of alcohol is on your sleep you will be amazed how disruptive even one glass of wine can disrupt your sleep there was a study that said that uh, especially people drink wine usually at dinner yes dinner time it's in us it's extremely common, common yes uh, no, yeah. without wine there is no there could be no dinner but <laughs> there could be always wine and it's all paired now there are pairings you have to have white wine with this kind Correct. of dish and red Correct. wine with that and rosé with something right. else right yes. right fish goes well with white wine yes. that's what they say red fish uh, uh, i don't know red wine is red meat something like that yes yes and they make a bis- big business out of it correct um and there was one study that said that okay so i mean i'm a big supporter of circadian rhythm and uh, usually the hormones has to get has to rest as well yeah so as the sun sets uh, the suprachiasmatic nucleus as you know it goes down as well so some of the hormones gets activated some of the hormones gets uh, rest but that one sip of alcohol delays the sleep initiation by 90 minutes yeah 90 minutes uh, already you only have like 5 6 hours of sleep yeah and resting heart rate goes up resting heart rate goes up up so normally when you're in deep sleep your resting heart rate that's when your body is repairing itself you know parasympathetic predominance sympathetic uh quietens down it's your it's your it's your rest and digest kind of time when the body is repairing all the you know damages from the the day's stress mm, mm. your heart rate goes down so that the very fact that your heart rate is not going down means that your sympathetic system is overactive i'm again a controversial question to you <laughs> <laughs> i know you can handle i like your, i like controversial questions you are handling neurosurgery cases so this is nothing <laughs> for you so many of our colleagues as well uh have i mean i was completely shocked to see a doctors meeting and at the end of the meeting people are waiting for the presentation to be done <laughs> <laughs> yeah where the liquor is being served right um uh, it's a, again it comes into the social drinking thing um mainly in the us as well um so what is your take on okay so i'm just drinking once a week once in two months once a month is that reasonable to argue that okay you know once a week alcohol is not going to bother you that much Yeah, of course I think it's probably okay. Um I don't believe in it. <laughs> I believe in completely staying off alcohol as much as possible. Mm. Maybe very occasionally when you know once in 3 months or 6 months or something when there is a really really special occasion I may have some alcohol just to give company to someone. But I try to just completely stay away from it. I don't believe alcohol has any beneficial value. There may be a social aspect to it. Uh maybe a stress reduction aspect to it in such situations where you could sort of say argue. that yes you could argue that it is beneficial and uh, i don't think it really will disrupt someone's life too much if they have it occasionally 
with uh, in a social setting with friends and it de-stresses them i think it should be okay